welcome to day eight. Almost done with the colds, but it's still lingering. Last night was a very, very, very windy night. So didn't get much sleep at all. And then the worst part, because our tent is held up with tent poles, and one of the poles went through the tent. So I have to try and repair that today. And it might rain tomorrow, so yeah. Started walking pretty early today, about 6 a.m. And we just left the third gate water cache, which is good, a lot of hikers there. It's just so amazing to me. I'm just again and again blown away by the amount of effort people go through to help us PCT hikers. People put out all this water there. It would be very hard without that water. I mean, they don't have to do it. They just do it out of the kindness of their heart, so. Oh man, it's all very humbling and makes me really want to give back and do things like that when I get a chance. Today, the exciting thing is that we're going to most likely hit our the 100 mile mark, so that's something to look forward to. Oh, can it be? That you're here with me? Let's start riding our own history. Let's take this road. Oh, this winding, winding road. Let's just take yeah. the long way home. Feels pretty good to have walked 100 miles. I've never walked that far before continuously, so yeah, really cool. Very exciting. Just keep going around, going around. You've got me running in circles. I can't keep both feet on the ground. Let's just keep spinning, spinning. Good morning, spinning. day nine. It rained a little bit last night. Most people have already left. There's a lot of people camping all around. Um, but yeah, drinking some coffee. It feels really cold today <laughs> compared to the desert we've been in. And yeah, we're gonna get going pretty soon. We're going to Warner Springs today, so it's not too far. It's like eight miles and then we're just chilling there. So it's not too hard of a day coming up. Looking forward to seeing Eagle Rock. It's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah. It's uh, on the way to Warner Springs. So. Yeah. Cool. All, all that's around us now. And I haven't felt, oh, I haven't felt, mm, haven't felt like this for a long time. We made it to Eagle Rock. Time. Pretty cool. Photo shoot time? Oh, I love photo shoots. <laughs> You've got me running in circles. I don't ever want to slow down. Let's just keep spinning, spinning, spinning. Just keep going around. Doing that, ah, doing some editing. Uh, what video are you working on? <laughs> video number one. Video number one. How's it looking? Uh, yeah, pretty good so far. Nice. Keep up the good work. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. It's day ten, and Nick and I have headed out. Uh, staying last night at Warner Springs Community Resource Center was really nice. Yeah, they let hikers stay there and there's toilets and they have a little store and... The middle school across the street was putting on a fundraiser so we got like a chili dinner. What do you got? Uh, we've got a feast, chili, and salad and cornbread. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, it's just kind of a relaxing time there. They have Wi-Fi. 
Uh, there's an indoor space that's warm with a lot of chargers and kind of just nicely catch up with the other hikers. Now we're back on the road, or on the trail if you will. It's another cloudy day, kind of drizzly, but it's actually so nice, such a change from the heat and it's much easier to walk. <laughs> Water. Oh, We've just stopped off for lunch. When I interviewed Heaps, aka Wilderbound, she said she loved uh, dehydrated refried beans as one of her favorite trail meals. And uh, I went a little overboard. I didn't quite read what it said on Amazon, but I got about eight packages like this and each package has six servings. So Nick and I are loaded up with beans and looks like we're gonna be eating beans for every meal for the next week. Uh, but that's okay, cause I like beans. Hopefully they're good. I got some corn nuts, gonna add that. Bean burritos with corn nuts. I mean, sounds pretty good to me, right? <laughs> this is the life. Let's try it out. Mmm. Yeah. This is one of my new favorite flower plants. It's called Our Lord's Candle. All of a sudden, this feels so different. Like, the trees just smell different. <laughs> different kind of foliage. Feels all kind of humid. Just because it's been raining. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We made it to Boulder Land. <laughs> They're crazy, so many boulders. They really wouldn't want to be here in an earthquake. Eesh, let's walk fast. <laughs> but so cool, they look like little, not little, they look like giant dinosaur eggs. So there's this guy, Mike, that lets hikers stay at his house uh, and he provides water also. We were gonna carry on, but it's getting kind of dark and windy and cold, so we are like, oh, might as well just stay here. Apparently there's pizza and beer down there, so I mean, <laughs> cold and windy, pizza and beer. So we went for the <laughs> that choice, so should be interesting. Good morning from day 11 on the PCT. We just left Mike's place. That was a pretty chill time. Yeah, just people chilling around. There's like sodas and beer and other vices. Uh, donation based. And um, now headed out kind of for an easy going day, not trying to do too many miles today. Still quite enjoying taking it slow, not pushing ourselves too hard. But yeah, the sun is back out today and we hear there's not much water until like 18 more miles. So 
there's some but we hear it's kind of gnarly so we're carrying a lot of water now <sighs> which always makes me go slower because <laughs> the pack just feels so much heavier <laughs> but all good <laughs> nothing but sunshine sunshine and happiness are all that's around us now it's umbrella time <laughs> Nick picked up an umbrella in Winter Spring, so now we're like an umbrella posse. You'll be able to see us from space now. Ooh, she's bright. I haven't felt, oh, I haven't felt, mm, haven't felt like this for a long, long time. You've got me running in circles. I don't ever want to stop. Today was kind of a rough day. <laughs> I don't know why, today just felt like a very tiring day. We only did like 13 miles, I think. Only. <laughs> yeah, it was just kind of a struggle. It felt like the desert again, it was very hot. And I like got bored for the first time. And I was just tired, I guess, so I put on a podcast for like the last hour and that helped. Anyway, um, all good now because we set up camp. Nick set up the tent and uh, we're in this canyon that's kind of spooky because there's like snake trails all over the sand but um <laughs> you know it's all part of the fun we'll be in the tent it'll be cool and yeah that's that but tomorrow is an exciting day because we get to go somewhere for lunch <laughs> It's all the little things, you know. Through hiking really makes you appreciate all the stuff you take for granted in normal life, and that's amazing. And it's just good to be out here camping every night. There we are. Uh, just getting. Oh. I've heard this uh, backpacker pantry pad thai is good. It's one of those dehydrated ones, so I'm excited to check it out. If you've been following for a while, you might know how much I love Pad Thai, so it's very exciting. <laughs> going around, going around. Just keep going around, going around. Mm. Mm. Nice Thai flavors. Mm, pretty good. Oh, just going around, going around. 